the sun. That golden sphere in our sky that rises every morning without fail. It's more than just a source of daylight, it's the reason life thrives on our planet. Every sunrise is like a silent promise that warmth and energy are returning again. Without its dependable glow, Earth would be just another frozen, lifeless rock floating in space. To us, the sun feels gentle, perfectly balanced, not too harsh, not too faint. It's the kind of star that seems perfectly tuned for life, a rare cosmic gift. But what if stars weren't like this? What if, instead of nurturing life, they destroyed it? As peaceful and perfect as our sun might seem, this kind of cosmic harmony is actually incredibly rare. In the vastness of space, stars come in many shapes, sizes, and behaviors. Most are far more violent or unstable than our own. Many stars flare uncontrollably, or burn out too quickly to allow any life to take hold on their planets. The calm balance we experience on Earth is a luxury few worlds are lucky enough to have. Beyond our solar system, countless exoplanets orbit stars that are anything but friendly, and that's where our story takes a dark turn. Among these distant, dangerous places, there is one exoplanet that shows us just how brutal things can get when a star becomes a destroyer instead of a giver of life. That planet is Kepler, 70b. This world is the very definition of cosmic torment, a place forged in fire and stripped by fury. It sits over 4,000 light years away from Earth, hidden deep within a region of space so cold and vast that it's hard to imagine anything surviving there. And yet, against all odds, something does. Reaching it physically would be impossible for us right now, but through the lens of science and imagination we can visit it. Thanks to the incredible power of space simulation and our imagination, we can journey across the universe in a matter of seconds. In reality, it would take millions of years to reach Kepler, 70b with our current technology. But here, in this digital voyage, we're not limited by time or distance. So buckle up and prepare to travel through interstellar space at unimaginable speeds. Welcome to V101 Space. I'm Rob, and if you enjoy exploring strange and extreme corners of the cosmos, don't forget to like and subscribe, because this is just the beginning of what the universe has to show us. As we enter the Kepler-70 system, you'll notice something eerie. The light from its central star isn't warm or yellow like our sun. Instead, it shines with a haunting blue-white glow, almost ghostly in its brilliance. That's because this is no ordinary star. What you're seeing is the remnant of a once mighty sun, a stellar corpse, still burning with leftover energy from its violent past. Roughly 18 million years ago this star was just like ours. It burned steadily, giving light to its planetary system. But stars age and when their fuel runs low they transform in terrifying ways. When Kepler-70's star reached the end of its life, it did what many stars do. It expanded into a massive red giant. This bloated version of itself grew hundreds of times larger than its original size, stretching its surface outward until it engulfed the inner planets that once peacefully orbited it. Anything that came too close was consumed in its superheated atmosphere. Then, after this terrifying growth spurt, it collapsed into its final form, a hot, dense remnant we now call a subdwarf B star. And what's left behind orbiting this stellar ghost? Some of the most tortured planets ever discovered. Somehow, despite the chaos, two exoplanets managed to survive the red giant's wrath. Or more accurately what's left of them did. These planets weren't just scorched, they were gutted, stripped of their atmospheres and exposed to the raw fury of a dying star. What remains is little more than their rocky cores, floating in an environment so hostile it's almost impossible to believe they still exist. And among these survivors, Kepler, 70b stands out. It's not just a damaged world, it's a monument to destruction, a planet whose very existence defies logic. But once you look closer it becomes clear, this planet paid a terrible price to still be here. Kepler, 70b is what's known as a scorched remnant. It didn't always look this way. Long ago it was likely a massive gas giant, much like Jupiter in our own solar system. It had a thick atmosphere, swirling clouds and deep layers of hydrogen and helium. But when its star began to die and expanded into a red giant, Kepler-70b was pulled into the growing inferno. The giant star's outer layers engulfed the planet, stripping away its gas envelope and leaving behind only the solid, molten core. What we see today is not the original planet, it's the leftover skeleton of what used to be. Now all that remains is a planet reduced to its most basic elements, metal and rock, superheated beyond imagination. Most planets would not survive such a brutal transformation. The pressure, heat, and radiation from a red giant are enough to completely vaporize a smaller planet. But Kepler, 70b had one thing in its favor, size. Being roughly the size of Jupiter, 
it had enough mass to resist total annihilation. Instead of being completely destroyed, it endured the assault, and what we see today is the aftermath, a bare burning hulk drifting insanely close to its now dead star. Its present condition is no less extreme. Today, Kepler 70b lives in a constant state of agony. It is relentlessly bombarded by intense stellar radiation from the hot subdwarfed orbits. Temperatures on its surface reach nearly 6,800 degrees Celsius, or over 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than the surface of our sun. Imagine a world where rocks melt into lava instantly, and metals boil away into vapor. Nothing solid could survive long on this surface. Even the atmosphere that may exist is more like a poisonous fog of vaporized materials than anything we would consider breathable. The planet's orbit only adds to its torture. Kepler 70b completes a full orbit around its star in just 5.6 hours. That's faster than most people finish a day's work. It's 65 times closer to its star than Mercury is to our Sun. The gravitational forces and tidal stresses it experiences are unimaginable. And because it's so close, one side of the planet is always facing the star, cooking continuously without a break. The result is a surface that's constantly superheated while any atmosphere that tries to exist is stripped away in violent bursts by the stellar wind. If we could somehow set foot on Kepler, 70b, hypothetically, with some unimaginable future technology, we wouldn't be able to describe what we'd see in any earthly terms. The ground would glow like hot iron, liquid rock bubbling beneath your feet. Vaporized metals would float around you in thin, glowing clouds, creating an otherworldly fog. Winds wouldn't be made of air but of elemental plasma ripping across the surface with deadly force. Every moment on this planet would be a moment of torment. It's not just inhospitable, it's as close to a true hellscape as nature can create. To truly understand Kepler, 70b, you have to look at its past. It's not just a hot planet. It's the product of one of the most violent and transformative processes in the universe, the death of a star. Being pulled into a red giant and surviving is something no planet should be able to endure. But this world did barely. And in doing so, it gives us a glimpse of a possible future, not just for distant exoplanets but maybe for our own Earth. Because one day far in the future our Sun will die too. And when it expands Earth might meet a similar fate. Kepler, 70b feels like something out of mythology, a planet that was eaten by its own parent star and somehow lived to tell the tale. In Greek mythology, gods and monsters battled in epic tales of survival and rebirth. Here the cosmos gives us its own myth in the form of this battered planet. But instead of gods, we have gravity and radiation. Instead of swords and shields, we have magnetic fields and stellar winds. And in the end, we're left with a silent, glowing world, stripped of everything it once had, floating in endless torment, a survivor of something no world should survive. Tonight, as you gaze up at the stars, remember that not all of them shine with peace and serenity. Somewhere out there, far beyond the calm blue skies of Earth, Kepler 70b still orbits its dead sun. It exists in constant agony, a place of endless fire and unrelenting destruction. But it's also a testament to endurance, a reminder that even in the face of total annihilation, something can survive, though not without scars. Kepler 70b may no longer be beautiful or alive, but it tells a powerful story, one the universe has written in fire, fury, and silence. The existence of Kepler 70b raises serious questions about how resilient planets can be in the face of total destruction. Most celestial bodies would never make it through such a cataclysm. They'd be torn apart by tidal forces, melted into vapor by heat, or scattered into space as cosmic dust. But this one held on. Scientists believe the planet was once a gas giant, like Jupiter, but over time, everything was stripped away. What remained wasn't a broken piece, it was a hardened survivor. And its very presence challenges what we thought we knew about planetary endurance and evolution in violent star systems. It's hard to imagine what kind of internal structure could survive being inside a red giant. The extreme temperatures and crushing pressures should have ripped it apart from the inside out. Yet somehow the planet's metallic and rocky core held together. The outer layers, those thick, gassy envelopes, were burned away like paper in a fire. But the core endured, scorched and changed forever. What once may have been swirling with storms and weather now sits exposed like a blistered skeleton. It's a window into the heart of a gas giant something we rarely get to see even in our own solar system. Even more fascinating is the idea that Kepler 70b's survival may have helped reshape its dying star. When the gas giant was pulled into the expanding red giant, it would have interacted directly with the star's outer layers. 
Some astronomers suggest that this interaction may have even accelerated the star's transformation into a subdwarf B. In other words, the planet didn't just survive the death of its star, it may have played a part in how that death happened. This gives us a rare look into the dynamic and sometimes reciprocal relationships between stars and their planets. The relationship between a star and its planets is usually one-directional. Stars give light, warmth, and gravity, planets simply react. But in this case, Kepler-70b didn't just passively endure. It may have altered the fate of its own star. That's like a child shaping the destiny of its parent. It's a humbling idea, and one that suggests planets may play more active roles in cosmic evolution than we previously believed. If Kepler-70b could influence a star's transformation, how many other planets might be silently shaping the life cycles of their stars across the galaxy? Beyond the scientific implications, there's something hauntingly poetic about Kepler-70b's story. It's not just a planet, it's a scar left behind by a cosmic disaster. It's what happens when the universe goes through violent change and something manages to cling to existence. The planet no longer resembles what it once was, but it's still here. Still orbiting. Still enduring. It's a story of survival written in magma and metal. And for us, it's a chance to witness the aftereffects of celestial apocalypse from a safe distance. We get to study it, wonder at it, and maybe even learn something about our own future. Because make no mistake, our sun is on the same path. In around 5 billion years, it will begin to run out of hydrogen fuel in its core. When that happens, the sun will swell into a red giant, just like the one that consumed Kepler, 70b. It will grow large enough to engulf Mercury and Venus and possibly Earth. If Earth is consumed, we'll be vaporized in moments. But if by some miracle our planet avoids total destruction, or if some distant space probe survives, the story of Kepler 70b may offer a preview of what such a future might look like. We often talk about space as cold and empty, but Kepler 70b proves that some parts of the universe are far from quiet. This is a planet that lives on the edge, literally and figuratively. It's right at the boundary of what should be possible. A place that should have burned away entirely and yet still orbits. Still exists. It reminds us that even in space some things are tougher than we expect. It might not be beautiful or alive or welcoming, but it's real. And that makes it worth studying even if we can never reach it in person. When astronomers first discovered Kepler, 70b, it puzzled them. The planet's orbit was so tight, its conditions so extreme, that it defied many existing models of planetary formation. How could anything exist that close to a star, especially one that used to be a red giant? It didn't make sense until they realized what had happened. The star had once been much larger and the planet had been pulled inside it. What we're seeing now isn't just an extreme planet, it's a survivor of a star's death spiral. And that makes it one of the most fascinating worlds in the known universe.